hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not welcome back so in today's video i'm trying to get my wash and go, to wash and go together and it hasn't been doing so great and i'm thinking it's because i haven't did a wash and go in such a long time so in today's video i'm kind of going back to the basics and i'm going to be using the eco styler olive oil gel for my wash and go and i'm going to be following the um log method which is my leave-in my oil and my gel and i have my fine tooth comb here and my dimming brush just in case i need to use them and i also have my spray bottle with warm water in it because i have low porosity here so let's get into the video so, i've already washed well i co-washed my hair and I've already applied my leave-in and that is the Kinky Curly, not today. This is my favorite leave-in and my go-to. And my oil, I will be using the grapeseed oil. And it's the noun brand, but I'm sure you can use any kind. I'm just so used to using this because it works well for me. I have very sensitive skin and it hasn't broken me out. So that's what I'll be using. My hair is already sectioned and I'm probably gonna look crazy. <laughs> and so I have one, two, three, four sections. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my wash and go. Um, I have applied the leave-in, but I haven't applied the oil. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the oil right now. And then we're going to go from there. So for me, I just like to apply a good amount, like a quarter size amount. If you've never used grapeseed oil, it's very lightweight. It does not weigh your hair down. So that's a good thing. Um, it's much lighter than olive oil. And... It's kind of similar to almond oil. If you use almond oil before, then this is very similar to that. So yeah, it's very lightweight. So I just apply it on like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and split that into two sections and start working on my wash and go. For me, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of water, not to soak my hair, but to kind of dampen my hair. And I have not used this Eco Styler Green Gel in such a long time, you guys. I'm typically using the Argan Oil Gel, but my hair has not been doing so great. So, yeah. So before you apply your gel, you want to make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled. I'm going to go ahead and use my fine tooth comb and kind of comb it through my hair. And I'm not going all the way through my ends right now. And then I slowly go through my ends like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take some of the gel. And this is a very typical gel base gel if you've never used the Eco Styler gel. And it's a level 10 hold. So I'm going to take the gel and then apply it to my entire section of hair. And I'm kind of just smoothing it onto my hair and just allowing my hair to do its own thing, kind of clumping together and doing what it wants to. This back section of my hair is, it shrinks a lot. So I don't really like to finger coil this hair because then I'll have a funky shape when my hair dries. Like it'll be bob cut short back here and then everything else be long. So I try not to shingle as much in the back lower part of my hair. So there is one application. As you can see, it's still a bit frizzy. Like right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to apply a little bit more gel. See how much that sh look at how much that shrinks up. Look at this, all the way up there. 